I'm Susan Page, the author of The Rule Breaker, The Life and Times of Barbara Walters. You know, you think about Barbara Walters' iconic interviews, there are thousands of them that you could choose, but I think maybe start with her interview in 1977 in Cuba with Fidel Castro. This was a time when she had encountered some tough waters as the co-anchor of the ABC Evening News show. This was a comeback interview for her. Barbara Walters and Castro had a definite spark, and the rumors never ended about whether they were more than friends. The interview that Barbara Walters, I think, was proudest of, of her entire career, was the joint interview she did in 1977 with Menachem Begin and Anwar Sadat, the first time that leaders of Egypt and Israel had ever sat down together for a joint interview. And that was historic. One thing she really liked about it was she beat Walter Cronkite with that interview. Walter Cronkite hears that Barbara Walters has landed this exclusive interview. He then scrambles to convince the two leaders to sit down with him. And then there was this mad race by both networks to see who could get the footage on the air faster. Barbara Walters liked interviewing movie stars to particularly formidable women. And she interviewed Katherine Hepburn in 1981. And the interview was pretty good, but to her dismay, it is remembered mostly for a question that she was sorry she ever asked, and that was, if you were a tree, what kind would you be? Barbara Walters was sorry that she'd ask the tree question, but she would always defend herself by saying that Katherine Hepburn raised the issue first by saying she felt like a tree. The interview that had the biggest splash for Barbara Walters, I think it had to be the one with Monica Lewinsky in 1999, it got the biggest ratings of any interview on a single network ever in history. In preparing for the interview with Monica Lewinsky, Barbara Walters spent hours with her staff figuring out how to ask the best possible questions that would get the most possible information, including about the most intimate details of her relationship with President Clinton. The last big interview that Barbara Walters did was with Bashar al-Assad in Syria. She was 82 years old and she was as tough as ever. This was an interview that every American journalist wanted to get. It was a time of escalating civil war in Syria and the Arab Spring and the only interview he gave during this time was to her. Barbara Walters interviewed thousands of people. She had wonderful stories. She had a life of real complication and consequence. And you can read more about it in The Rule Breaker, The Life and Times of Barbara Walters. Thank you.